Lisa up. So we're at my old high school, uh, here to pick up my buddy, and then we're gonna go to a uh, an LKQ pick your part in Anaheim. Got to pick some stuff up for the Z. So of course I gotta drive it up there. So <laughs> I'll see you guys when we figure stuff out. Okay, well it's been a minute, but um, it's now five hours later. I got all the parts and stuff, but I mean, I just basically got a uh, PTU as an extra, the PTU harness, and then also a new mass airflow sensor that's OEM. So car there was pretty good. I wanted a, the bumper that was on there. It looked like a KBD bumper, um, but didn't end up having it by the time I got there. And this car showed up today, so it just goes to show. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get that all tossed on right now and then see how it works. Okay, so I got the nose panel off. I'm gonna clean the connections on that harness real quick, but one thing that I also got, and I recommend if you go to like a junkyard or anything and pick these up is on my math, I never had this clip, like the retention clip that holds it in. So if they've got those there, they're free. Like you don't, I mean, I asked the guy and he's like, dude, it's like, a, it looks like a paper clip, just take it. So, so I always recommend picking those up if you can find them. Um, especially so you don't want this thing unplugging. That happened to me once when I was on the freeway and I literally had no throttle. So seriously recommend picking those up. Okay, I got my intake out. So basically now I'm just gonna take this math off of the filter and put the new one on. So I know that this one looks a lot newer but it's actually not OEM, so it doesn't work as well. Um, to Z32 owners, I would always recommend keeping another MAF and a PTU on you uh, at all times because they do tend to go bad. So this is a precaution I've been told by many Z32 owners before to just keep those extra if you can. And I mean, the, I know this, so this one's OEM and it's a little bit beat up, but OEM parts are always going to be better. And the car there was complete, so I know this is going to work fine. Everything. I kind of wiped it down a little bit um, just so it didn't have all the dust on it. So I'm going to plug this back in and put the little retainer clip on. It should be the right one. Hopefully. go no it doesn't come off as easy um yeah you know, like i said you really want to pick these up if you can uh odds are good they're gonna have them so just make sure you check that okay so with the ptu sub harness this is what you want to look for on yours so if it's got that green corrosion in there you probably ought to clean it off otherwise it's not gonna work to its best ability i mean that's how electronics work it just puts more resistance in there so Make sure you always check that out. So I usually take some isopropyl alcohol, which is non-conductive, and then a like wire brush like this, 
and then clean it out and it usually rubs all of it off or at least most of it to where it's gonna work way better so I'm gonna do that now another thing so since last time I actually did a PTU delete so it was right there and now it's down in there you can probably see it a little bit but yeah it was pretty fun it was a uh, super super easy I recommend doing that this gets it away from all the heat that exists on the um, cam cover the timing cover whatever you want to call it so really recommend it it's not super difficult I left the two plugs that are supposed to be there there yeah just fix it okay I doubt any of that was usable but basically so under this tube just have my IPTU mounted right there. I just got the new plugs in. And yeah, basically that's all I'm <laughs> gonna do for the day, hopefully. Car actually decides to start after this, because usually it's finicky, but we shall see. So, get my tools out of there, I guess. Now I'm gonna probably check if it starts before I throw the nose panel back on, but like I said, I'm gonna put my MAF, my extra one, and then my other PT and maybe keep that harness just in case, but it's pretty trashed. One of the wires is shorted in there, so we'll see if this old So goes. I would bet probably 20 bucks that this battery is now too dead because I left the hatch open. So, well, it looks good. Let's see. Sounds like it's running really, really smooth. So usually it'll pop. I mean, the car's warm. Uh, like I said, I took it up to uh, Anaheim area by Stanton. So it's been out, but my God, it sounds so quiet now. Still got a little bit of a lope, but it's not burbling. So this thing is idling smooth and quiet. Oh my God. Very, very quiet, no more ticking. I'd say that's successful, so yeah, I mean, this goes to show like little tiny parts and then changing from garbage aftermarket to OEM does it good, so I mean, it's looking pretty good. Another thing I wanted to pick up today, um, the car that was there showed up this morning and uh, they had the Gretti style bumper, which is something I wanted, but it was, I, I don't, I couldn't tell from the picture. It was only in there, but I saw like the ducting and a little bit of the, the front bumper. And I was like, oh, hey, that's probably a KBD bumper right there. So I'm looking at the still in GTZ lip. So I might end up picking that up. But yeah, everything I got today was only 80 bucks. So for you Z32 guys, you know that uh, at least the math alone new from Nissan is 250 bucks. And then that PTU is somewhere upwards of a hundred. And then even that little wiring harness that I replaced that. I looked that up on like Concept Z and Z1 Motorsports and it was like $75. So really recommend you guys check out Junkyards if you can. It's it's super fun. I brought my friend, like I said earlier. Um, didn't get a lot of video in there because they respectfully asked us to not film in there. But yeah, it's a great place. So I mean, the local ones to us, they're probably all over the country, the LKQs or pick your part. So yeah, I mean, I'm super glad this thing's running mint now. So it's been, it's been a long journey trying to get this car to run right. And I think I finally hit the nail on the head there. So we'll see how it goes. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure to like it. Uh, and if you want to see more, subscribe. I mean, not big, but got some plans for this car. Hopefully get it painted this summer. It's like the start of March right now. So a couple months have this thing uh, painted and it'll look real good. I'm gonna get that lip and then that's about it. Redo the interior, have fun. So anyways, see you guys.